Hello, welcome to Any Questions Answered. I'm Ross Exton and I'm here to answer some of the great questions that you asked recently here in at Bristol. Our first question is really interesting. Alani, who's seven from Bristol, asks, why aren't all languages the same? Well, it would certainly make life a lot easier if they were. Imagine all the new people you could talk to and learn from. It all started around 100,000 years ago when there were only a few people on Earth and we were first learning to talk. We can't be sure, but there were probably only a few languages back then. But humans spread all over the world in groups and they usually only talk to people in their own group. Slowly, over many generations, the language evolved and changed. At first, the only thing noticeable would have been a change in accent, like between North and South of England, or the different states of America. But over hundreds and thousands of years, some languages can be so different that you couldn't even begin to guess what they were saying. All of these words mean the same thing, science, but they are all in different languages. Notice how there are some groups of words which are similar to each other. But many languages don't even use the same alphabet, like Arabic and Japanese. This might not be a problem for long though, because we have computers to help us. Translation software is still far from perfect, but it's getting better every year. And it might not be long before we can chat to any person on the planet, no matter what language they speak. Katie, who's eight from Plymouth, asks, Why does hair turn grey when you are old? Our hair is made of cells, just like the rest of us. These cells are dead, but they have a very important molecule inside them called melanin. The colour of our hair will depend on how much melanin these cells have. Blonde people don't have much melanin in their hair, brown-haired people have a lot. Even pale blondes still have some melanin in their hair. But as we get older, the cells which make the melanin begin to die. The hair loses its colour and becomes white or grey. Of course, not everyone is old when they start turning grey. The age at which you will first start seeing white hairs is strongly genetic. So it will probably be about the same age that your parents did. We also love to take questions from you guys online. Here's one from Soph B on YouTube who asks, Where's the end? of the universe? Wow, Soph, that's a pretty big question. The reason we can see the universe around us is because of light traveling into our eyes. Even though light travels incredibly quickly, it still takes time to travel from place to place. The light from a bulb appears instantly when you switch it on, but the light from distant stars and galaxies can take thousands, millions, or even billions of years to reach us because they are so far away. We call everything we can see the observable universe. Imagine standing on top of a hill. Everything you can see is your observable universe, and it ends at the horizon. But the rest of the world still exists beyond the horizon of your observable universe. You just can't see it. There is certainly an end to the observable universe. It's about 445,000 million 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 kilometers away from us, which is a pretty long way away. But our universe is expanding, and there are some stars which are so far away that the light coming from them simply has not had time to reach us yet. They are still there, but we just can't see them. They are beyond our horizon. But there's so much more in the whole universe that we can't see. So to answer your question about where it ends, Nobody knows. It all depends on whether the universe is infinite or not. And if it is, then the end doesn't exist. There is no edge to the universe. If you have any questions, you can visit us and write on our wall. You can also leave any questions in the comments section below, write to us on Facebook, or tweet us with the hashtag ABAQA. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, keep asking questions.